Hello students, my UPC class welcomes you and today we are going to discuss our past subject and we are going to start our past subject geography and in this we are going to discuss our module 1. So module wise, module wise we are going to proceed and ending this subject and this is going to be like your basic introduction of this subject. So whenever just we are talking about introduction means or basic like how we are going to study the subject, the basic idea of this subject we are going to discuss here and after that we are going to start with our past topic. So this is like a sequence of every subject we are going to follow the same sequence. So first of all we are going to study our geography then we are going to follow our environment then third subject we are going to discuss about our history and in this manner like a polity your economy science and technology so up to that sir basically your pre exam syllabus and after that like you can just go for your mains paper so mains papers like separate papers are there so after that everything just we are going to discuss so this is like our past lecture related to geography in this video we are going to discuss about the importance of this subject and weightage of the subject in a pre as well as mains examination so first of all see whenever just we are talking about like this course detail or books or source of reading also one separate video just i provided but before like those uh, we are also going to discuss here but before reading i will just tell you weightage of this geography subject why just we are starting with this geography and why everyone should read this subject because of, without this subject you cannot proceed further for like your preparation and this subject is going to be very 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 important as well as very very conceptual in the nature so you don't require to read like huge number of data you don't require to like uh, remember dates or everything basically 60 to 70 percent concepts are like scientific in nature like how the like our landforms are just created what is this universe how physical uh, like uh, physical geography is there for indian geography like some basic parts are there and so these things are like uh, required very less effort so with very less effort you can just uh, get maximum numbers why just i am telling for pre-exam if you see the number of questions are like 10 plus minus 2 means sir you can just say sir sometimes 8 questions sometimes 10 questions sometimes 12 questions from this geography part and geography part we can able to see sir with if you just mix this geography with our ecology and environment so whenever just we are talking about ecology and environment this subject is also very important and this subject only possible you will just get maximum mark in ecology and environment if you know geography very well so geography and environment this subject if you understand definitely this topics 25 percent of your pre as well as main syllabus is going to be completed just listen my word carefully whenever you are reading ecology environment and geography your 25 percent work is going to be our for pre as well as mains examination so if you mix sir if geography and environment number of questions from geography and environment if we combinedly see 23 to 25 questions in pre-exam you can just understand sir average number of questions 23 to 25 and nearly out of 100 questions if we are getting 25 percent syllabus here and already in our is know your is series three videos are there and I suggest every student go through this first, second and three video series is there from basic fundamentals to your pre main syllabus discussion to everything how you should select your optional everything just we have discussed there so from starting why just I am creating this series because of my some students are there they don't have like a huge resources outside lots of peace are there and they want to start from zero with zero or with proper self studies and with NCRTs and some reference books are there and those are going to be very much sufficient you don't require other resources so that's why just i'm creating so before starting your knowledge in uh, this exam is zero just see those three videos available on uh, youtube uh, playlist you can just check there three four videos are there Ma maximum like three four like main three videos are there for your like know your is from zero and you can able to understand everything so whenever just we are talking about this paper pattern you can just see sir geography out of 100 questions 25 coming from your geography so this means sir out of 100 questions 25 percent coming from your geography and as we seen our last videos or in those three videos average cutoff for pre-selection or qualifying for men is going to be also below 50 percent below 50 percent or maximum to maximum 50 percent so 25 percent covering by this two subjects only ecology environment or geography so how like these topics are important and that's why just i am telling this subject if you can able to understand this subject very conceptual in nature and this ecology and environment very easy subject only problem with this subject 
you need to understand this subject with related to current affair and if you can able to interrelate these subjects definitely out of like uh, 25 questions you can able to solve like uh, 18 or uh, 17 18 question means 75 percent you can able to attempt but in geography like 90 uh, percent static part you don't require to read uh, like uh, update with current uh, topics 90 percent or 95 percent basically static part so this is the beauty of the geography and this subject so that's why we are going in this sequence first of all you need to just read geography and second subject we are going to start our environment so this is like our sequence if you see for mains examination also in mains examination the pattern of this geography just divided already just we have seen in our mains examination we need to just write papers like essay paper gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 those papers and two optional papers so this geography syllabus just divided into two papers you don't require to see syllabus because of whenever just you are reading geography they just given this syllabus of geography in gs paper 1 as well as like some 25 percent syllabus also provided in gs paper 3 so whenever just we are talking about the syllabus of geography we are going to read in a, a combined like uh, once we start uh, our geography from first point to last point we are going to complete so those are like a given but in upsc that's why this is like a distraction if you see syllabus you cannot able to understand but you just read geography and then just see syllabus of geography you can just able to enjoy those syllabus so that's why just i'm telling just read basics of syllabus then sir come to your like uh, subject reading then automatically syllabus everything is auto automatically you will get understand or uh, familiar with these uh, syllabus points so whenever just you are talking about mains examination in mains examination nearly 70 marks coming from gs1 paper or 80 to 90 marks uh, coming from your gs3 paper so if you averagely if you are mixing these equations with environment ecology and disaster management also one subject especially for mains examination what is this disaster management it is nothing only sir how we can able to face our earthquakes how we can able to face our like uh, tsunamis and these things we need to just understand what is this earthquake uh, tsunami or volcanoes everything we are going to discuss in our physical geography after that this disaster management is also going to be very easy within like uh, six to seven lecture we are going to complete our disaster management this is going to be very easy so if you read geography everything is going to be easy so this is going to be your first step so again if you calculate mains weightage for geography ecology and disaster management nearly 200 plus marks so this is also more than 20 percent so this is the idea of our weightage of pre as well as mains. so everything that we have discussed the basic idea just i given this is look not like hard and fast rule guys like every time they just ask a question number of questions like a 23 or 25 it's like average last 10 years average just we have calculate and according to that just basic idea just i given now already one video just i provided how to read the geography from books basically three books just are there first of all we are going to provide these types of written notes in our class so my upc class note series is going to be there and this first note series is going to be for your geography part and in this geography we are going to divide this geography into three part and these are going to be your physical geography world geography and indian geography so basically first of all we are going to discuss about our physical geography and from tomorrow or day after tomorrow after like your current affair video i will just tell i will just discuss what is this physical geography and physical geography we are going to discuss completely and 50 percent importance of this subject out of 10 questions five questions from physical geography so very very important topic after that sir world geography like continent web uh, map based questions are there so basically very less important you don't require to bother about the world geography sometimes in pre-exam maximum sometime in pre-exam one question they can just ask from this world geography but we need to just read so everything we are going to start with and indian geography is also going to be very important so in this sequence we are going to discuss and whatever just we are going to discuss we are going to discuss or read or whatever just i will provide we are just relating this subject related to PRI as well as mains. So everything pre come mains preparation is going to be there. So what you need to do? First of all, you need to just start or read with our like basic videos and notes. Then and also, sir, whenever just we are providing these written notes, already just we have created or like a huge time just we spend on these notes. Because if same thing just I write here, it will for for example, sir, two hours lecture. I will take one hour for writing in lecture and one hour for speaking so definitely one hour you are wasting 
what happen already things are written i will just give the basic fundamentals and idea you will just see later in lectures you will just enjoy definitely the classes i will provide fundamentals so for example sir 30 minute video or 40 minute video or 25 minute or whatever the time sir within that time you can complete your one lecture and in remaining time what you need to do you need to read your ncrt book and you need to just read your gc leong and you need to practice your map three things so for example sir first lecture you completed in a 40 minute and then sir you have one hour and 20 minute for practice or for reading ncrt so completely you can prepare why we have created this courses because of self study is going to be very important whatever like in in thousands of coachings are there just go there and waste your money if you are not reading by yourself it's a zero guys whatever like guidance whatever the teachers available with you you cannot proceed for any exam but if you have path if you have books and you just determine to go through these books in a proper manner and in sequence it will take time one month or one and a uh, month but definitely guys if you go through with a proper path and with a daily practice is going to be key of success so what you need to read first of all class notes or whatever the video just we are going to provide after that you need to just go through like 6 to 10th class your ncert books and those are like not essential only one to two time reading is going to be very much sufficient but 11th and 12th geography you can just leave this book gc leung not required but 11th and 12th books are going to be very very important once you read this complete 11th and 12th book 70 to 80 percent questions from geography you can able to answer so this is the beauty of ncrt books of 11th and 12th so you don't require other books why just i am telling students students are like always bother about uh, uh, books and material everything just available free of course ncrt is and most authentic books available on our application also just i provided separated like by separate separate say like some books are there from 6 to 10th like books are available in the social science form so what are the geography part so already we have separated everything just on our application my upsc class application you can just see there in the geography book section you will get very small part and 11th and 12th books you need to just start from zero and you don't require to read all books in a one day whenever we are going to read some topics for example sir today we are reading about physical geography first chapter then you need to just read those topics after like our lecture you can just clear your all topics so once you understand all like ncert book 11th and 12th definitely your fundamentals everything is going to be clear even for example sir i just in the last video also i given you need to just require this ncert and ncert is like free of cost you don't required any physical variant in uh, like digital lots of uh, like you can download or on our application also available and for gc leong you can buy it because of just buy it and put with you so daily after lecture read our ncert and once you complete this total course as well as ncert then go for gc leong you will feel this gc leong is nothing so once fundamentals clear you don't required also gc leong but sir for your satisfaction you need to just read gc leong because this is the problem with the student every topper every teacher every coaching is to telling about gc leong but first of all you need to just go through videos notes as well as then after that so go for this 11th and 12th geography book after that go for gc leong so you required three resources and also one extra atlas for sir oxford atlas very important you can just go only for oxford student variant should be and latest version should be there so student atlas as well as sir gc leong and ncert books and our class notes so this is going to be very much sufficient for your geography preparation so in this sequence first subject we are going to start in the next module we are going to start our physical geography so this is like a basic introduction of this subject we have discussed and from uh, next video we are going to start our physical geography so once we complete our this physical then world geography then indian after that second subject we are going to discuss our environment so in this manner we are going to complete all our course and uh, whatever like books and resources everything with the subject once i am going to start this environment i will tell you which book and how to read and strategy also with that videos so don't buy like all books at a single time just buy those books whenever just i am providing 
any video already sir i am just starting geography so for that geography your first video or last video just i already given which books you require for this geography only those two books you need from outside one is just gc leong one is student atlas both should be latest version after that ncrt is everything just like uh, available like our notes everything just available in uh, like uh, application so this is like a complete uh, introduction of this subject so next we are going to start our physical geography so this is like ending of this uh, lecture thank you guys for watching this video thank you